What, did you think I forgot? Special time for the Homegrown Happy Hour, but we're here, and in the studio, I've got Joe Jabber. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. Where are you from? I'm from Taylor originally. Right now. Well, thanks for making it on a short notice, kind of like pushed you back last minute, and I appreciate you accommodating. Who you got with you today? Chrissy Morgan, the wonderful Chrissy Morgan. She's been in a band for a long time here. Mm -hmm. And then we also Dave Petrie, which I uh, worked with for many years, who actually started out. He's a owns Dearborn uh, Music. School Very music. Cool. You're more school music. Awesome. So got lessons through him a long, long, long time ago. And you've been with Chrissy for a while. How long have you been with him? Uh, Dave plays in the band uh, sometimes. He's, we've been messing around for about a couple years now. And Chrissy, how long has it been? I don't know, five years? Yeah, Four or five like that. years, something like that. But she hasn't been with you since the beginning. When no. did you start? No. When did I start? Probably about nine years ago. Okay. Yeah. How, you're a young guy. How old are you? I'm 43. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think he works out. <laughs> I, it's one of those things. I'm like, I'm 43. <laughs> well, I, I'm really excited to have you on. The first song we got is called Same Old Town. Yes. Am I right? This is the song we're... Yeah, absolutely. So th this song's just about uh, kind of, you know, I grew up in Taylor, and uh, you know how it is. You, you grew up in the same old town. There's always the rumors, and there's always things going on, and things being swept under the table and all that, and... Sometimes you just got to uproot yourself, and uh, I love Taylor. I love every, you know, my friends and family from there and everything, but sometimes you uproot yourself to go somewhere else. So it's kind of that same old town. Everybody's kind of been through that stuff. So, so the song is inspired by Taylor. A little bit. All right. A little bit. Very cool. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Let's check it out. One, two, three. This is how the story goes He said, she said And the rumors are told So we broke bottles late last night Two hearts could open They were open wide It's the same old town A broken home, that's all we knew. My folks, your folks, now we're walking in their shoes. Try to build a brand new road. Driving a circle, babe, this is how we've grown. It's the same. It's a shame that it's over. Headline change, same old news. We can't break the cycle. So we both, we both lose. All right. Oh. From different places, different places, so it didn't have to run, run. and we could face this, tear it down, start brand new, get back to what we had, me and you, it's the same.
was awesome. I love that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Funny story, though. The, the, the story behind you getting on the show is actually you're one of the only artists to ever send me a manila folder yeah. for my content and a CD and kind of a little overview. You were doing a show here at Music Town. Oh, maybe like two and a half weeks ago? Yeah. Or three yeah. weeks ago? What's the That was behind a really good cause that I got wind of. Why don't you tell us what that cause was about, though? Uh, it's called You're Not the Only One. I started it actually on the exact day. Uh, okay. We started, what was it? Was that the 10th? I think we did it on the... the November 10th? Yeah, I think yeah, I believe that sounds about right, yeah. And uh, started that just for people that are dealing with you know depression. There's a lot of people dealing with depression out there, uh, suicidal thoughts and things like that, and also drug addiction. Um as we talked about a little bit last night too, is just been seeing so much of that out there and so many people are losing family members sure. and, and what have you. And uh, I lost one myself as well. So um, it's something I've always kind of written a lot about just because I like the emotion in songs. I know we talked briefly about my song from the last album called Keys of the House, which is literally about people dealing with depression and finding their way out. And in the hook, uh, actually the bridge of the song, I'd say you're not the only one. So I thought it'd be a perfect segue Absolutely. to actually put for the uh, charity but i'm really really excited about it and we're just getting started especially around this time of year too because yeah everyone kind of gets in the dumps a little bit on christmas time absolutely if someone wants to follow you and get behind your cause where could they go um literally we are just as of right now i'm setting up the uh facebook page and the website should be up in a couple weeks um but as of right now we're just getting everything rolling i mean it kind of started the idea kind of sparked like right when i was in the middle of releasing the cd so right. it was like Oh my God, how can I marry these two together? Sure. So as of right now, just uh, stay close to the website, uh, joejabber.com, and you'll see that it's going to be coming out probably in the next couple of weeks here. When he says Joe Jabber, it screwed me up too. It's <laughs> with a one B in Jabber. Yeah. J A B R. I had to ask you last night, is it Jaber or Jabber? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I hear and I'm that. I'm glad I asked. Yeah, no, I hear it all the time. Uh, I, we were on Mitch album a long time ago, and he, was, he said Jaber. And then somebody said, no, it's Jabber. Like, why is live on air? He's like, why didn't somebody tell me? You know? Right. So it's one of those what, things. Did you correct him? Or? Uh, oh no. God, I'm, I, I'm, like I said, I, I don't care. Like, uh, I don't care what you call me as long as you call me. That's the way I look at Funny it. Funny story. And, and I'll, I'll say this because Alan Turner actually is a good friend, and he knows I say the story a lot. He did that to me. First oh, really? time I ever interviewed him, he put out the song. It was uh, Windows and Mirrors. And I was interviewing him, and I, the whole entire interview, I was calling it Smoke and Mirrors. And he didn't okay. even bother to correct me at all. Yeah. So when I'm editing it, and I'm listening back, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm calling it the wrong name the whole interview. And he didn't say anything to me. Yeah. So I called him. I'm like, you need to tell me, dude. I won't be offended. I feel like the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many of those situations happen, not even just about my name, but other things. And I just kind of like everybody, a lot of times where the name of the band is Joe Jabber and The Last Divide. But a lot of people think it's the Great Divide, so I get that all the time. I just let them say it. It's like fine. I, you know, it doesn't matter to me. As long as you say, you know, you're close. If I can you know, keep, you, you got their attention. Exactly. The point that they're trying to say your name. Exactly. But the songs you came in to play today, they're all new. They're all on yes. this new album. Is it yes. out now? What's the details on this? Yes, new album? Uh, the album's out now. You can get it on, you know, iTunes, Spotify, and all those things. Plus, I have a lot of hard copies as well. It's called Made It On My Own. Okay. And that's one of the songs we're playing. Same Old Town was one of them, and Hold Now is the one we'll be playing later. And uh, the song that we got coming up next is called Made It On My Own. Correct. And this, when you write an album, is there like a spe uh, specific way you organize your songs, or are you just kind of throwing them on? Uh, it's a good question. This one, I, I wanted it to be completely different. In the past, I actually had, uh, I've had, this is my third album, so the other two was more like those were my best songs at the time. Okay. And they all fit and they all sound like me, but they're, you know, there'll be a ballad, then there'll be a rocker and, and so forth. Well, this one's more, it's got the, all the same vibe and it's, it's more of like a, you know, kind of a man or growing up through childhood to adulthood, all the things you learn, what's important, some of the tragedies, some of the things that have happened in between and so, something very relatable to a lot of people, especially this song made it on my own. I've been seeing a lot of people that have come to me about this one because I, I wrote about my dad. So long story short, my dad wasn't around. So I, I finally, uh, after years and years of being bummed about it, decided I, you know, I made it on my own. I didn't need you anyways. What a perfect release is to write a song. Like, yeah. For someone that has the ability to write good like songwriting skills, like that has to be such a way to get over stress yeah. and, and anger and stuff like that. I wish I could do that sometimes. You can. I can't. That's I can't write. Way. I can't. Uh, I can't write I, songs. I, I can find other ways to get over it, but uh, I can't write a song. I get I, writer's block immediately. I, I, I <laughs> argue with people about that all the time. I Just say write something. I say to people, I'm like, do you try? You know what I mean? Like, do you I mean, I write things down. I, mean, <laughs> I would never perform them in front of anybody or let okay. anyone read that. It's like a diary. Yeah, you play, you play bass, man. Just start hitting that a bass. A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get you playing bass again. That was again. a long time ago, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Let's check it out. Here's Made It On My Own. Joe Jabber, live in Music Town.
one, two, three. Twenty-two years since I seen your face. Now you wanna make good on your dying day. It's way too little, a lifetime too late. Go ahead and die in the bed you made. Well, you can't buy back what you sold. Picture ain't worth the frame that it holds. Gave up on you long time ago. Ooh, made it on my own. Sat on my porch for two damn days. Prayed and prayed, Daddy never came. Your bloodline left nothing but a stain. Hell with my roots and your last name. Well, you can't buy back what you sold. Oh no, your picture ain't worth the frame that it holds. Gave up on you long time ago. I, the whole time you were playing that, I just like pictured myself listening to that on my way home at night. Like that's a perfect <laughs> night cruise song. Yeah, you know it's got that slow. Your voice is perfect with that song, by the way. Thank you. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. So yeah, show's coming up. I hope right, so people yes. can see you live. Yes. Now before you answer that though, is it is this your band? How many people are in your band altogether? We have. I'm one of seven. Okay. So we okay, have. Okay, it's a full production. Well, yeah, we got a full production. Backup it, dancing. Is that hard? Yeah. To, is that hard to like coordinate everyone together? Oh my god, it is. Unbelievably hard. How many shows do you think you'd play in a month doing um, that? Actually, I don't play a lot, and that's maybe one of the reasons. <laughs> sure. It's plus I, I also I'm a I'm a regional sales manager, so I have ten reps. So I'll have ten reps and then seven band members. So it's a lot of people. And a dad. Plus, I have, plus I'm a dad. I have two kids. Oh wow. Two amazing wow. kids. I, I have a dog. Have a, so that's twenty. <laughs> I have a two I'm and a half year old. Who <laughs> just I got a two and a half year old that just hit that terrible two hard right oh, now. Really? Got any advice for me? Oh man, <laughs> I need it so bad. Oh, you'll love it, man. It, it's it's just gonna only get better and better. It's uh, the best. I came into work the other day, and Rob, who works at the show before me, he's like, "Didn't you like do show?" But I'm like, "I tried." Yeah. It was either I could do that, or the the, the kid was gonna kill the cat, or <laughs> fall down the stairs, or yeah. she's like, learn how to like turn the thing on the stove, so she reaches up and like turns oh, the gosh. knob now because oh, she wow. realized that fire will come out if she does it right. Which yeah. thank God she doesn't know to push it down and do it. But still, I'm like, yeah, I watch her. I'm like, what are you oh, doing? Stop it. I know. <laughs> it, it's, it's great though, man. You're gonna love it. Oh yeah, You're I'm gonna love it. it. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. So where are you playing though? Coming up. Uh, we're playing at 20 Front Street, which is in Lake Orion. It's okay. a, an amazing listening room uh, to where it's kind of like, it's kind of got like almost like a church vibe where there's like kind of pews and there's also everything's wooden. So it's more of a stripped down acoustic singer songwriter kind of vibe. And it's just amazing. So That's I'm really, really cool. looking forward to doing that. It's this Thursday. Um, Caitlin Coral is opening up for us at eight o'clock and we go on probably about 845. Very cool. Absolutely awesome. So. 
I, I'm just thinking about that setting. I never even heard of a place like that. And their sound probably sounds so cool in there, too. Oh, man, it's <laughs> it's great. I, I played that. They had me for their uh, second year anniversary a couple of weeks back. And it's just it, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's got the lighting system and everything that's set up and the sound system. It's great. So, yeah, any, anybody wants to come out for that one, that's going to be a special one. We're actually going to do – we don't do many – I was telling Annie, um, which uh, obviously is with Music Town as well, we're going to do uh, The Faces Ooh La La, uh, which we're going to do that one, and we're going to do uh, our version of Fleetwood Mac Dreams as well. So okay. We barely ever do covers, so it's going to be kind of cool to do a couple of different covers. That should be fun, though. I, yeah. You know, it, it, covers are, are good if they're placed right, and also if they're songs that not a lot of people know. Not, yeah. not, so, much, not so much no, but, like, haven't heard a lot of. Yeah, like you can go in there and honestly, they say don't play Freebird, but every band's gonna try to play yeah, Freebird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> especially now, I can only imagine all these like cover. They're gonna try to go play a lot of Queen now and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, so for sure. So that's gonna get like overplayed. And yeah. you know, like Tom Petty, like unfortunately he passed away, but when he did, everyone tried to do that's what a happens. song by him, and it was kind of like starting to get to a point where it was like, all right. <laughs> 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 well, cool, man. We got I got a couple more questions, but I want to hear one more song. This one's called Hold Now. Yes. And this is on the new album as well. Yes, this is actually uh, we're ending the album with this one. And it's kind of, uh, it's that vibe where I said the, kind of the whole album's got a little bit of, you know, the stuff that you kind of go through growing up. And, uh, but Hold Now is the, the ending part where it's about, you know, what's important in life and what you've learned along the way and all that kind of good stuff. Very so cool. it, it ends on a good vibe. And we're not going to give the full jam out here, but when you see us live, you'll see the full jam out <laughs> with the full band. Thursday, you might see it. Right? Yeah. Oh, you'll see it on yeah, Thursday. For sure. <laughs> you'll see it on Thursday for sure. All right. This one's called Hold Now. Got older somehow And pretty soon They'll be bigger than me Rocking in the cradle To dinner at the table These days Are too few And far in between But we all need time With our family Christmas card showed up late The hourglass is slipping away Too many years in between Work has slowed all our dreams The rat race is taking the lead Yes it is But you'll always be a brother to me Thick and thin we gotta be Cause some may take for granted The blessings they've been handed When love is all they need These are the things that matter to me Life's just a memory. 
So much fun that song. <laughs> that you. was cool. Thank so, you. are you ready for Christmas? Oh, I am. I see some people. I can understand why some people don't like Christmas because obviously, if, you know, th- some things have happened over the years. Sure. But I really enjoy it because things slow down like that much for me. So you know what right. I mean. Right. End of the year. Yeah. All of yeah. Are yeah. Over it slows with. down Absolutely. a tiny bit, and you get you know some days off that you normally wouldn't get off, and you get to see friends and family. So I. Love That's it. true. I really what, love it. What are you asking for this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at that age where you stop asking for stuff, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> what did it, your kids ask for? What do my kids ask for? What do um, they have the age of asking for? Well, my, my son wants this uh, this Bluetooth, like, big jam box speaker deal. Like, I got one of them last year, and uh, so I got him that already. They just like a JBL charge. Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> no, uh, he, he's not. He's a video a game kid. My daughter, might li- my daughter might listen, but I don't. my son is more of a video game kid, you She's know. tell him, dude. You're, you're, you're busted. I know. <laughs> I got a big mouth. My name's Jabber. <laughs> what did you get them? Um... Yeah, I don't right, know. I know. Hey, on the spot. We've been a good band this year. Right? No <laughs> kidding. Oh, you know what? I used to get I used to get the band members gifts every year, but then it's like this I kind of forgot. Stopped. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> just if I can keep getting more band members, I'm gonna be broke. Yeah, yeah. seven seven's a lot of things to buy. Yeah. <laughs> Plus you don't know. Exactly. They don't want to be cheap. I guess like good, you know what I mean? Yeah, like. I know, I know. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what I want. I, um I could always take a new guitar. Who doesn't mind a new guitar, you know? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you take a good new guitar. Good, yeah, oh, my God. You take a new guitar for yourself? <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, all right. So if you could have your like your your dream guitar, I guess it's kind of like a, what, what's your dream guitar? Some people, you know, they get the mm. Fender, the Apple phones, the Telecasters. It'd probably be like a uh, super old Gibson acoustic. Okay. Just something from my, like a 30s or something. They don't make them like that anymore. No, they don't. Absolutely. No, they don't. They got that, uh, that vintage, you know, that vintage sound. The wood just keeps aging and aging like a fine wine, so... Something like that, I would say. But that's that's not something I would ever ask for Christmas for. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's a little bit presumptuous. Right, you're, right. you're, right. you're asking a little too much, buddy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, Joe, Chrissy, Dave, thank you so much for coming in on a, on a, on a special Homegrown Happy Hour time. I kind of do like the 130, though. Yeah. I don't know. We might have to switch might this to over, switch huh? a little bit. Oh, they're yeah. shaking their heads right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're here live in Music Town, Detroit, second floor of the Hockey Town Cafe, every single Tuesday with a new local artist. I'm Frank Williams, Jr. See you next week. Have a good one.